Fried rice is one of the most economical and time-saving home-cooked meals. Even if you only have leftover rice and eggs at home, you can still make a simple and delicious egg fried rice dish. Nowadays, there is a wide variety of fried rice available. And apart from rice, you can add any other meat and vegetable. Pineapple fried rice, as introduced in today's Uncle Sol channel, tries to use a simple fruit ingredient to add a major flavor boost to fried rice. Pineapples are native to South America and were brought back to Europe in 1493 after Columbus landed on the American continent. The sweet and juicy pineapple was very popular with the aristocrats, and since it was expensive to grow in Europe at the time, its deliciousness and rarity made it extremely valuable. In those days, the presence of pineapples on the table was a symbol of the wealth and status of the host. In 1675, King Charles II of England received a pineapple as a present and immediately asked the artist to paint himself with the pineapple. The price of pineapples was so high that there once were pineapple rental companies so that people could borrow pineapples to prop parties up and showcase the owner's status. After that pineapple spread from Europe to Africa and Asia. It was not until Portuguese missionaries introduced pineapples to Macau in the 17th century that widespread cultivation began in Guangdong, Hainan, Taiwan, Fujian, Guangxi and Yunnan. The Chinese name, Bo Luo, is derived from the similarity in taste to the fruit jackfruit, which is called Bo Luo Mi in Chinese. And Bo Luo Mi is pronounced the same as the Buddha's term parameter in Chinese. Moreover, the shape of the pineapple is similar to the Buddha's conch hair. Therefore, some people believe that the Chinese name of the pineapple is also related to Buddhism. When it comes to pineapples, it is also worth mentioning an American industrialist, James Dell, known as the King of Pineapples. He developed the pineapple industry in Hawaii and founded the Hawaii Pineapple Company, which later reorganized and became the famous Dell Food Company. Now the world's largest producer of fruits and vegetables. 炒饭省时省事，经济实惠，哪怕是家里只有剩饭和鸡蛋也能做出一道简单美味的蛋炒饭。如今，炒饭的种类五花八门，除了米饭必不可少，其他荤素食材均可随意添加。今天，Uncle Soul为大家介绍的菠萝炒饭，尝试用一种简单的水果食材让炒饭口感瞬间升级。菠萝原产于南美洲，在哥伦布登上美洲大陆后于1493年将其带回欧洲。甜美多汁的菠萝受到贵族们的热烈欢迎，而由于当时在欧洲的种植成本颇高，为每家之稀有让菠萝极其珍贵。在那个年代，餐桌上是否摆有菠萝成了衡量这家主人财富和地位的象
1675년 잉글랜드의 찰스 2세 왕은 파인애플을 선물로 받고 즉시 화가에게 파인애플과 자신을 그려달라 요청했습니다. 그 무려 파인애플 가격은 너무 비싸서 귀족들은 파인애플 대여 회사로부터 파인애플을 빌려 파티를 열어 자신의 지위를 자랑하기도 하였습니다. 그후 파인애플은 유럽에서 아프리카와 아시아로 퍼졌습니다. 17세기에 포르투갈 선교사들이 마카오에 파인애플을 가져와 소개하여 광동, 하이난, 대만, 푸젠, 광시, 윈난에서 광범위한 재배가 시작되었습니다. 파인애플은 중국어로 보로 하는데 이는 중국어로 보로미라는 과일 잭프루트와 맛의 유사성에서 파생되었으며 보로미는 불교 용어 바람이과 발음이 같습니다. 파인애플의 모양이 부처님의 머리 모양과 비슷하기 때문에 파인애플의 중국 이름이 불교와도 관련이 있다고 생각하는 사람들도 있습니다. 파인애플 관련 이야기를 하면 파인애플의 왕으로 알려진 미국의 산업가 제임스 돌에 대하여 설명이 빠질 수 없겠지요. 그는 하와이에서 파인애플 산업을 발전시키고자 하와이 파인애플 컴퍼니를 설립했습니다. 회사 설립 후 조직을 개편, 현재 세계 최대의 과일 및 채소 생산 업체로 유명한 돌푸드 컴퍼니가 되었습니다.